this morning in Vivier, and the weather is not quite as nice as it's been. Oh well. In Roman times, this would have been under water. Since then, they have contained the river. In uh, 2003 and in 1993, those lines indicate how high the water got. People are not supposed to have living quarters on the ground floor because of the risk of flooding. Here we are in the town center. Population today is about 4,000. This was all marshy area down here, and the bishop built these walls to protect his cathedral, which is back there. So this is one of the entrances into the old town. These buildings date to the 13th, 14th, and 15th centuries. This was a street of goats, Chevra, and the goat butchers were on this street, and they slaughtered the goats here and then sold them. Here's the main street, and down here in the middle of the street is where the gutter was. of a narrow doorway perched at the top of some steps. So behind that doorway, as you've got the four little windows, that indicates that the stairs are there. The staircase goes up like that, and then you cross back, and then you head up again. So that would only um, belong to one family, because there's only one door, and then you have to cross the rooms to get back to the stairs. Up there, only rich people the heated chimney. their houses. Um. You, ha you had a fire to cook on, but you didn't heat your house. Huh? You just have some rags or something over the window. And of course, what you can see is this big Renaissance window here, the square one with the mullion and the transom like that. You can see another one right at the top, which has been blocked up. That may have been when some clever person decided to put a tax on windows. <laughs> This is where the owner conducted his business. You can see there's some very nice windows on there. In fact, that bridge was built after the rest of the building because that building there and the four buildings, this one and the ones behind it, all belong to the same person. They date from the 12th, 13th, 14th century. That was, as I say, a little later to join the two properties together. And those windows were probably on this building here, taken out and recited on that bridge there. It's a very nice Renaissance uh, facade on this building. And there were shops around here even in the 1950s. But of course, you know, our competition can be from Montpellier, which is only 10 minutes' drive from here. Wow. All the big shops are in Montpellier, and so the little business is in the shut down, unfortunately. The town hall was there from 1767 to 1947. The building is looking pretty run down. Mm -hmm. Originally, it was 12th century, and you can actually see uh, the. Uh, I don't quite like the idea. Um, the French Revolution basically get rid of all the uh, kings and all the power which was you know, in the hands of just a few rich people and the aristocracy and establish a republic. Now the values of the republic are liberty, liberty, equality, equality fraternity, fraternity, brotherhood. 
And all those nouns are feminine nouns in Pakistan. Ah. <laughs> okay. huh? It's protecting the This existence. old door is more uh, than 500 door. years old. It's oak. The tears which fall from the sky. Ah. Mm -hmm. This was the gate into the religious area. So we're going into the cathedral here. The Cathedral of St. Vincent. This is the bell tower and it's completely separate from the church. was a marshy wet area and there's the Rhone in the background that they've built up the banks and moved it back there and now we have good farmland and housing. Here's a view in the other direction looking over the medieval town you can see all the tile roofs and stone. These people have a nice little garden there's some artichokes. Nice little shed or something back behind there. They just turned the lights on. It makes a real difference. You can imagine being here with just candlelight. Nice chandelier. plaque for the locals that were killed in World War I. It's about 150 from this small village. Behind the altar are these huge tapestries. Of course, tapestries was one way to help keep the building a little warmer. This is a cathedral, not a church, but it is the smallest cathedral in France. These two big tapestries were woven in about 1720. Eight of the churches this size would fit into Notre Dame in Paris. He's an organist. This is 17th century Carrera marble. You can see the inlay on it. Beautifully done. The stalls here are walnut and the back of them bends down so this is where they could rest a little bit because they had to stand during the services. Yeah. 
Magic. This is a pastis without water. And down here is with water. Changes color, kind of milky. And here is the village of Vivier. V-I-V-I-E-R-S.